friends, today we want to talk about the standard of being a poodle and also about how I differentiate from like typical poodle characteristic and also what fits very well for me as a poodle. We thought that this video would be super interesting because we talk with lots of our poodle friends in our Instagram and YouTube community and even though we are all like one poodle breed and like one standard poodle, we definitely have different characteristics and different challenges, like things that go well, things that are a little bit more difficult in like raising us as a poodle with our character. So it's super important to talk and reflect about this. And even though this is all like an individual journey and just like the opinion of my parents, they're very, very happy with me as a poodle and they're very happy with the breed that they chose for themselves as a dog. So we want to reflect on like things as the character, my training, and then also like raising me and my health and everything. So let's start with the character. And... It's said that poodles are like very adaptable and they're very friendly and they're also the perfect dog if you've never owned a dog before. And my parents can definitely agree with all of these things and they're very happy with how I manage everything and how adaptable I am. They can take me with them on vacations or to the restaurant or wherever they go and I'm just happy to be with them. But we definitely would say that you also should think about how much like attention and training and walkies a poodle needs because we definitely need attention and we're very intelligent and eager to learn. So that definitely shows in my character as well. And just like going on a walk is never enough for me. I always need to like be trained and have like something that stimulates my mental health as well. And I'm also always very curious, so um, I always want to go along with everyone and like see everything. So I have my difficulties with staying home alone. So let's talk about like the workload that I am as a poodle. As already mentioned, like just walking is never enough for me and I just love to try new things and if my parents don't stimulate me mentally then I always begin to mess around when I'm like not busy enough when I didn't go on long enough walkies or when my parents didn't train any new tricks with me so that's very important and like something to consider if you're thinking about getting a poodle and that also shows in my upbringing because I'm such a smart poodle so I love to be challenged and my parents definitely also realized that they need to be consistent with training me and like raising me because if i notice if i have a chance to do something not quite right i take advantage of it and then i just like do a trick like halfway in order to like get a treat or to a little bit uh, manipulate my parents into giving me treats without like doing something correct but that's just like if I realize that they're not consistent with me. So it's definitely important that they stay consistent. And then it's also hard for me to stay calm because I'm a little bundle of energy and I love to run around, especially as a puppy. So I always need to be challenged to also stay calm. And we need to train that with like also blanket training and everything that I learn to stay calm and that it's important and that I can also stay calm and just go to my dog bed on my own without my parents sitting next to me. And then we can also talk about my appearance and about like caring for my fur and everything because as you've probably also seen other poodles, our fur keeps on growing and there are lots of different looks for a poodle and I'm wearing the kind of like the teddy look that is really trendy right now and I need to be groomed around six to eight, every six to eight weeks, which is actually a lot. And my parents do that on their own, so they're saving lots of time and money. And then it's also important to care for the ears of a poodle because they're actually prone to having ear infections. So my parents check my ears like every other day or so and plug out the hairs that just keep on growing in my ears. And that's why we can also already talk about my health. And poodles are actually already 
And as already said, poodles are prone to having like often ear infections, but you can definitely decrease the risk of getting ear infections through like proper grooming and through proper cleaning of the ears, but you have to keep that in mind. And then we are also prone to having like problems with our eyes and like our kneecaps if you're like a small poodle. The bigger poodles have some other problems, but that's just like the problems that us as a breed are more inclined to have, but other breeds of course are more inclined to having other problems. So as I'm still like such a small puppy, we're not very sure like what's gonna happen with my health and so far we were very lucky but I mean I'm also like a very small puppy now I'm like five months by now and then we also wanted to talk about my hunting instinct because that's something that my parents have noticed that I'm getting more and more of a hunting instinct and I want to hunt for pigeons and birds and I also want to hunt like other leaves but maybe that's also just because I'm a puppy and I just like want to run around ever after everything that is moving and maybe it's not like real hunting and that that's gonna change but that's also something you need to consider if you want to get a dog because sometimes dogs with a hunting in instinct can be a little bit more difficult to control and that's just something that you need to keep in mind. So we really hope that you liked our little video and a little recap of us as a poodle breed. And it was so nice to do this video for you guys and to also show you my characteristics because I feel like by now if you've watched lots of my videos, then you already know me so well and my character. So it's always just so nice to reflect together. And then I'm just gonna hope that you will subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my video so we can see each other in the next one. And then have a lovely day.